Hi friends, this is Bilal Heather and this is my 21st video lecture of MQL4 programming language. In this video, I'll be talking about the function that selects the order um, for you. Okay. For example, uh, I have uh, these uh, orders right here on my trading platform. Uh, some buy orders, some sell orders, and a buy sell stop order right here. And if I wanted to do something with this this particular trade, uh, for example, I wanted to change the stop loss value or the take profit value, I need to select it first. <clears throat> we are not going to do uh, manually right here. We can put the stop loss and take profit right here but as you're making expert advisors <coughs> sorry um there will be couple of times uh we'll be uh, modifying our stop loss or take profit values um for certain trades so <coughs> we need to know um this function which selects the particular order okay so i have written the code right here and this function is predefined in MQL4 programming language and this function selects the uh, selects the trade by its index number so the first argument it takes is the index number of the trade so the order placed right here is at index number 0 1 2 3 4 and so on okay so if I wanted to select the first order right here, I have to write zero in it. Okay. If I wanted to select the second order, I have written the one in it, but because that the second order is at index number one. And this um, the second argument it takes is select by position, and the third argument it takes the more trades. The more trades selects the orders which are there uh, in in the trade window right here okay if I wanted to uh, select the order from the history account history <coughs> I have to write uh, mod history like that so for now we are selecting the trades from the trades window right here so we'll be using the more trades once you will select the order then you can do certain things with the order like uh, i have written the for loop right here to loop in, uh, to loop through all of these trades to know information about all those trades so the first thing i did with the for loop i have initialized a, a variable and it starts from zero so we will be starting from this order and we will be going uh, to all of the orders uh, which are there in the trade trade window right, right there okay the order total return uh, this function returns us the total number of orders which are there so it will be a number like um, 10 for example if there are 10 total orders there so we'll be testing this condition um, again and again to look through all of the um, all of the trades and this um, where this thing increments the value of i for the first time when this function will be executed the i's value will uh, will be zero and it will this function will select the zero trade the the trade which is at zero index number and then this if this if condition will will be tested for that particular um, order for example if the selected order type will be um, this op underscore buy it will increment the buy variable we have defined up here okay so the first trade is buy so the buy uh, variable will be incremented to one and the rest of the um, state statements will be ignored 
okay because this condition is true okay so after executing this uh, piece of code it will go back here and it will increment the value of i and test this condition and if the condition is true it will come down here and now i is value equals 1 it will select the select this trade right here and it will test this these conditions for that particular um, particular order it will test whether it is buy or sell or um, let me make it sell stop because we are not having any buy stop orders there so and let me also change this variable name to sell and this variables this variable to sell and this variable to sell stop and this variable to sell stop okay after executing this piece of code for all the orders we'll be getting the number of total sell stops the number of total sales the number of total buys and now what we can do we can just alert those um, variables to know uh, how many orders are there so let's compile it and see i have compiled the trade there is total one cell stop order right here which is right here there are total two cells one is here and one is here and there are total three buys the first one is here the second one is here and the third one is here so <coughs> this was very simple example of how you can use the order select function um, to do something with the trades which are there on the chart also we can use this function to select the select the trade and then we can close that trade by using the order close function and we can also close all the buy trades and all the sells and we can also um, change change the um, change a particular orders stop loss or take profit value and there can be certain there can be lots of things we can do with this um, by using this order select function so this is all for the tutorial and thank you for watching the tutorial and keep practicing this uh, piece of course okay so that you know um, what um, what they exactly do thank you for watching